I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Brooklyn. Today is Friday, February 21st, 2020. Welcome to this week's edition of the Bulldog News. Next week is the last week of February. February has been I Love to Read Month at the PK3. Our goal this month at the PK3 is to make our readers rock stars. Every student who reads 10 books can fill out a guitar picture and put it on the Rockstar Wall of Fame. The Wall of Fame is actually at the window outside the office. The Rockstar Window of Fame is filling up. There has been a lot of reading in the PK3 this month. If you don't have your name on the Rockstar Window of Fame, keep reading. You still have, you still have time this weekend and next week. We have special events to celebrate I Love to Read every Friday this month. Today is another special I Love to Read Friday. We will have bookworm buddies today. Each class will be paired with a buddy class. The buddy classes will read together. Next Friday, which is February 28th, a guest teacher or reader will come to your class and read to you. I love to read month has been fun at the PK3. There will be no religious release during last week of February. We will not have religious release on February 25th and 26th. Religious release will start again the first week of in March. Next Wednesday, February 26th is School Bus Driver Appreciation Day. Our school bus drivers have very important jobs. They often have many students on the bus. Sometimes more students than two full classrooms. They have to make sure everyone is safe. Let's help our bus drivers by being well behaved on the school bus. Mr. Moles Knowles is back again this week. Does he have guest helpers? No, today we just get to hear from Mr. Mose. He is going to tell us about having a positive attitude. Hi Bulldogs, and welcome to a February edition of Mr. Mose Knows. This month, I have been teaching the importance of having a positive attitude. Our attitude is how we feel about things. We can have a positive attitude or a negative attitude. The important thing to remember is you get to choose whether you have a positive attitude or a negative attitude. I'll show you. Here's an example. My friend Johnny isn't at school today and I always play with him at recess and now I'm not going to get to play with him at recess. This is an example of having a negative attitude. I'm only thinking about not being able to play with Johnny, but I can have a positive attitude in the exact same situation. My friend Johnny isn't at school today, so I will get to play with other boys and girls and maybe even learn a brand new game. Did you notice how I thought about the positive and not the negative? You can choose to think about the positive parts of every situation. The key is to choose to think positively and push away any negative thoughts that might pop into your head. This takes practice, just like math or reading. It takes practice to push out the negative thoughts and keep in the positive ones. If you choose to have a positive attitude, other boys and girls are going to want to play with you more. Having a positive attitude can even help you have a healthier body. Boys and girls with a positive attitude are more successful and feel better about themselves. So, how will you choose to live today? Will you choose to be grumpy and ornery? Or will you choose to find the positive part of every situation today? I hope you choose to be, I hope you choose to be happy, positive, and joyful. Have a great weekend, Bulldogs. See you next time. It is always important to have a positive attitude. Thank you, Mr. Moss. Next week will be the last week of February. The following week will 
be the first week of March. The first school day of March is Monday, March 2nd. March 2nd is Dr. Seuss's birthday. Every year on Dr. Seuss's birthday, celebrate Read Across America Day. Every day that week, we will have a special day that celebrates one of Dr. Seuss's books. It will be really fun. We eat, we will tell you about each of these special days in next week's Bulldog News. We'll see you next week. That's the Bulldog News for this week. Have a safe weekend. <laughs>